What's going on, YouTubers? Um, first things first, I just want to let you guys know all the noise scratches that's coming from the GoPro is coming from the case itself. Right now, I don't have the case on it because I, too, find it annoying. But um, today, what we are going to do is get some clarification on the 1320 hood exit header for the B-Series. And what I'm going to be doing today is before I swap the single cam back into this car because it currently has no engine in it um, I think it it's a good opportunity to slap in my uh, bare head bare sh uh, bare head bare block engine and use that transmission to bolt up maybe like two 17 mils and I got mounts over there to hang it in the car and uh, show you if that fits our chassis with the half core or with the full core or does not fit at all so what i'm going to be doing is pulling that off the stand made it up with that guy get the mount in here mount the motor and then mount the header Okay, so what I've done instead was I left the short block on here because I didn't want to remove all the 70 mil. Instead, I just took off the cam caps, took off the two uh, head studs that was holding the cylinder head on. I had a spare block that was sitting there. And what I'm going to do now is put the post mount on here because I have it right here and mate the block to the transmission and get the motor mount on that, hang it in the car, and then same thing I did with the two studs, put the VTEC head on, and then we can mock the header. All right, so I had to take care of some business real quick. Um, if you guys noticed, my mom's car is gone. It's very unfortunate, but we sold the car, took all her little Cambodian CDs out of the car and her belongings. Sold the car for $500. Um, we got it for five. We drove it for about seven years. I maintenance it. It's everything is up to date. Uh, it was still registered, and he bought with confidence. Drove it around. It was cherry, and he said, "We're gonna buy." It. So, farewell to my mom's '89 sedan. Um, it did her good, but she bought the minivan, Odyssey, and the caravan. So, it's not like we don't have enough cars already. So. Okay, so after kind of shifting things around, that motor mount, if you guys remember way, way back when I saw the GSR tranny on my CRX, this mount came from a factory with this uh, mount portion, the top section was flipped the other way, was flipped the other way, and it pushed this mount an inch out. Um, so what I had to do was I had to take off the Allen keys underneath with my impact flipped it around and uh, retighten it back up and then it shifted this motor mount exactly to the hole got it all hanging in there on its own now I don't have a t-bracket so it's like plus minus forward or backward but it will still give you a general idea of how close everything is with the header so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull off these studs which I can just twist off of here I'm gonna transfer it over and then put the head on, bolt two of the uh, ARP nut on it, and go from there. Yeah, this this is gonna look real, real close. Um, like I've mentioned, I'm not sure how much motor is leaning forward or how much it has to go backward, but general spot, this is where a B-Series sits in an EF chassis. So, got the studs on, valve cover, 
now it's time to fit this big old megaphone looking 1320 performance hitters sorry guys header header so that's gone All right, guys. So the first per the first problem that I am seeing is obviously I'm running the stock cross member on this car and I haven't removed it yet, and uh, that is what is blocking the header from going further down to even like meet with the cylinder head. Um, so I got like a good maybe six inches to go down, and I'm. I'm already seeing the lower, uh, like front radio support, uh, hitting the front section of the runners right here. Um, but I mean, most of the time people are going to be running this with the traction bar anyways. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbolt the uh, 17 mil for the cross member and drop the cross member down and see if the header will at least go on and further diagnose whether or further see if the bottom runners like hit the radio support or not uh, but I think it is so let's see all right guys so I came down to a conclusion that this header will not fit our chassis if you have the stock lower radio support you can see right down there the runner is hitting that front portion right there um, if you don't have that, you have a better chance of fitting, but it also depends on the traction bar. You can see right here, the flange is not even close to where it's supposed to be at as far as the exhaust outlet is on the head. So it's definitely got to go down about two more inches. And you can already see right down there at the bottom, two inches would interfere with at least, I would say, the innovative traction bar or I guess any bar for that matters um, I probably wouldn't recommend this on an EF chassis because this obviously is gonna block um, a full-size radiator It's definitely gonna block the half core radiator um, the only thing I would think of that would fit on this is like a speed factory drag radiator like a half core triple row or some shit but you guys want to see some fitment on this header for EF for the B swap there you have it I'm gonna give you guys some better shots of this header so you can kind of guesstimate for yourself if you guys think otherwise but here we go Alright guys, so that's all I'm going to do for, for this video because um, it is Halloween, the neighbor's ice machine is up and going pretty loud, and I don't want to be out here when the kids are going to come through to grab some uh, candy and stuff, so I want to clean up and get the garage closed, um, but hopefully you guys get a better idea on how the 1320 performance um, hood exit header fits in our chassis, uh, mine, I didn't go further than what I've shown you guys because I don't want to chop the radius support on a car that I'm going to be selling, um, granted I didn't have the traction bar, but I did have it unbolted so I can kind of kick it down further, but obviously the lower runners weren't allowing the header to go any lower than that. Um, I didn't have a T-bracket, but I did prop the engine on the front and rear of the transmission to mimic the motor in the position that it would be in if it had a T-bracket. But um, like I've mentioned, radiator issues it seems like. Uh, obviously cross member clearance 
frame rail cl clearance and um, I already started pulling everything out of the car because I'm just trying to hustle to get this out of the, the, the bay and back into the garage before I close it. Um, I wish I could do a better explanation and better trying to test fit it a little bit better but having some type of clarification is better than nothing right guys uh, leave a thumbs up if you guys like this video if you guys want to subscribe some more to see more like R&D type of deals like this if I ever have the chance to do so leave a comment below and let me know what you guys want to see and I will see you guys in the next random video peace